the swamps of Louisiana. Stretching from the Big Easy all the way to Texas, this rich ecosystem was vital to the early Cajuns, who survived by hunting, fishing, and trapping, though they also saw the bayous as a source of danger and evil spirits. Today, the swamps are home to flocks of white egrets, thousands of American alligators, and forests of bald cypress, which fend off rot with the oil in their trunks. A few hours west of New Orleans, nature also takes center stage at Bird City, a nesting spot for 20,000 birds, including snowy and great egrets, blue herons, wood ducks, and geese. The preserve came about in a rather unusual way. In 1895, Edward Ned McElhaney, the son of Tabasco founder Edmund McElhaney, was concerned that the high demand for feathered women's hats was driving Louisiana's snowy egret to extinction. Ned waded into the swamp, caught eight young egrets, and raised them himself in a rookery next to his house. It was Louisiana's first wildlife preserve. Another bird lover created an American masterpiece, thanks to Louisiana. This is Oakley House at the Audubon Historic Site, where John James Audubon began painting his classic book, Birds in America, the work that began his career as America's best-known wildlife artist and eventually led to the Audubon Society. He came here in 1821 to teach drawing to the plantation owner's daughter. In the four months he was here, Audubon painted 32 works that would be printed in the book. In 